Ray Zero Cutter, how you made a Isekai Sekatsu Season 2 is licensed and produced by Crunchyroll, Studio, White Fox, Networks, TV Tokyo, TVO, TVA, and ATX. Based on the works by Tape Nagatsuki. Please support the official release. Hello to YouTube, Jack here with more ReZero Season 2 Episode 9. I'm finally able to watch this episode because I've been a little busy since it came out like half a week ago, which didn't stop the internet from being a boss with whatever actually is happening in this episode. Which involves witches, who would have thought? But yeah, I don't exactly know what happened, but let's just say witches came up a lot and I've desperately been dodging spoilers for the past couple days. It was a fun time. No, it wasn't. I'm really looking forward to this episode. <laughs> anyway, last time what we had, we had casually the most brutal death ever and perhaps with ever, I actually do mean ever in the sense that we, we might have we, we might have just topped out, you know, it's, it's not gonna get much worse than that, perhaps? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what could be worse than being eaten alive. Actually, you know, I do know what could be worse, because turns out the novel is worse, which didn't stop commenters from explicitly pointing, not just pointing out that it is worse, but giving me intricate details on how it is worse and why it is worse. Now, read to just straight up copying the novel out down there. <laughs> Thank you for that. Did not need the information. <laughs> so yeah, obviously that can be worse stuff. But do you need to like why? Why did death even happen? It it, it sort of doesn't even really connect to anything. And I was like, oh look, the bunny. That's the one from the opening. That has to be significant. And it was significant. I'm, I, I'm just, at this point, just sort of wondering, like. Did they put the bunny in the opening only because it is a reference to the most brutal death? Do the bunnies have more significance than that, I wonder. And then we sort of left off on uh, Subaru's breakdown once again, which I don't fault him for. Dude goes through a lot and... Breakdowns are not a thing you just check off and then move on, okay? You're allowed to have multiple of them. Anyway, like, you know, breakdown with... Just the most amazing performance by his voice actor, uh, with Ekna being able to listen to him, him being able to say the return by death thing, and now we get a story. Ekna sort of moving in in Rem's absence into best girl waifu position, and I'm still I'm still holding out to the, the tiny moment possibility that things with her could go sour. Like you know, which are great and all that and. She seems to have a very very negative self-image of herself as well. Like she called herself an evil, evil magic user and stuff like that. So mm, I don't know. Is is something terrible gonna happen at some point? I'm gonna hold out the fact that we're gonna go full circle even if it does, like we're gonna go back to Best Girl, even if things go sour with her, but I'm, I'm, I'm still just somehow expecting things to go bad, you know, you know? So, witches, I guess. Let's well, let's get into the episode. In the three, two, one. Terrible indeed. And we're already playing the credit, the, the like. So no opening. Yeah, it does come up quite frequently with you, doesn't it? Well, that says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, again... It's easy to ignore these sort of issues from an anime watcher perspective. Like, of course, the power is just gonna keep going because the story would be really over if it ever didn't. Well, he could stop dying, but he's not gonna be stopping from returning. Uh, 
through there, I think. Yep. I mean, you can't. You should do... Did you feel the terrible need to do that just now for some reason? Blessing, huh? Yeah, no, seriously, don't make light of this. <laughs> I love that smile somehow. <laughs> Your input has been very informative. <laughs> it's one way to put it, eh? Uh, she's just glad to be able to get back at him. <laughs> Maybe so, yeah. What I, although that might be a terrible thing to be able to do. What a great name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, by Gluttony, right? Oh, they were... They fall right in the group of the whale, okay. Of course. Well, yeah, because there's many of them. Wow, okay. So that that's disturbing. At the same time. Yeah. So the rabbits did play an essential part to the whole, like, everything. I'm, I'm just glad that it got cleared up. <laughs> So you have to clear the trials then. Well, is that someone you would want to talk to? Like, if she created those... Literal monsters that are plaguing the world right now. Mm. 
yeah, basically no matter how many times you may die. Would she want you to defeat it though? That's great at all, but this is like perhaps the first chance at a literal game over death for you. That's your biggest concern. I mean, we already saw them in the opening, right? <laughs> yeah, so you know... Titna. <laughs> So don't judge by appearance. Don't ever do that. Do not. Do not. Do not. Well, the arm's gone. <laughs> but as you said... Yeah, apparently not. Wow! But it's not painful, so good for that, eh? So just straight up go through all of them, eh? Next one. <laughs> Hearts, eh? You sure are excited, eh? Let's <laughs> put it back together. <laughs> also, her teeth has got blown up. Wrath, then, okay. <laughs> you just did. I'm also digging the soundtrack that's playing right now. <laughs> Don't make it sound like a treat. <laughs> so just like swap through all of them. Okay, that's not at all what we came here for, but okay. Like again, they're not under, obliga under no obligation to play along with whatever you want. Cheat, cheat. <laughs> what even now? So... You were gluttony then? Because she's the only one with actual restraints. Yeah, apparently, like, the mob is quite like to its scent of him, of his. Yeah, sure, we're gonna see the Black Serpent sooner or later.
Yeah, that's what Echidna said the first time around, to state the hunger. <laughs> I love the logic behind this because it's just so delightfully skewed. <laughs> I mean, the point was to eat them, after all, so... Like the sanctuary, then. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I bet I'll be. Well, to feed the world. Mother. <laughs> I do love his solve. That he just straight up tells that to a witch. <laughs> Well, as he said, he already got rid of one. And we're back. Hi. Well, that turned out alright. <laughs> back home with my family. She sure is the most reasonable one of the lot, isn't she, though? So yeah, Tiffon was... Ooh! Pride is Subaru's specialty, isn't it? <laughs> sort of, yeah. <laughs> Most normal. Well, there are still some left. <laughs> oh no. Like we did not see where the teachers not came from. Also, like if everything in this world is sort of made by her, then the cookies are like her too, aren't they? Well, but she's at the goal. Well, damn. It's such a delicious conflict of interest here, isn't it? That'd be an interesting thing to know, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 
you know a lot. That's a good way to put it. So that's it, eh? He did say he was like very rare the first one. I'm not sure anymore. I want to know, eh? <laughs> it would be too much of a shame, though, to not see her again. The payment, the payment, yes. It would be quite a, a waste, you know, to... Oh, damn. So why would you want it then? She's such a fascinating character, though. See you in the trial, I guess. So long. Well, damn. But it also pretty much means that a fourth time is all but impossible, isn't it? Well, good on that. Again, I'm just not sure about that one. I will hold out doubt. That'd be a first. Well, I mean, you were always there for her. Yeah. Why not? It's been way too peaceful for like half an episode. <laughs> Even your turn. Ooh. Could it be? <laughs> I love you. Oh, that was just too good with headphones on. <laughs> So can she just show up in person? Like she's supposed to be sealed up or something like that, right? So maybe it's, I don't know, an illusion? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Well, yeah, the problem can't wait. Yeah, I doubt the big bad herself is just gonna be here right now. Is it? Well, 
Well, he's seeing her too, so... What then? Why though? <laughs> wow! That... I know I said half an episode, I didn't think we were all the way through already! What even happened?! <laughs> Is it bad that I'm somehow in, like, denial that Sattler herself would just show up like that? I, don't, I, I, I have no idea what just happened there at the end. And I know that's very much on purpose, like... Also... It shows very much in the spirit of ReZero to leave you hanging on a cliffhanger, isn't it? But hot damn, what even? Like, we just got to deal with three absolutely random witches <laughs> of pride, wrath, and gluttony. So Daphne is like all chained up because she would just straight up eat everything if she wasn't, I guess. Or at least Subaru, but that generally seems to be her thing. Typhoon? Ty Typhoon? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, so she's just... Like, again, she also put up some interesting interpretations of sin and sinner. Like, of whether he committed sin and whether he sees himself as a sinner. And that that ending shot too, by the way. You sure are accommodating, aren't you? You know, I ask for answers, not more questions, but thank you, I guess. Uh, what just happened? Like, the way he phrased that is sort of implying that he knows. Right? That's that, that's the implication there. I don't, I don't know, like, I, I know the story, it was framed specifically to lay that implication, but I don't know if, like, that's really the intention he made. Like, in story. He seems to be very, you know, on the side of the witches. And I don't mean this in a negative way. But he he defended Echidna when uh, Emilia spoke ill of her. Or rather, not ill, but, you know, just as you would of the Witch of Greed. And he seems rather nonchalant with subtle shadows swallowing everything up. And again, the, the general term, like, that witch is apparently such a, such a, such a straight-up insult, it would seem. Like, again, like, Roswell had this defense when Emilia called uh, Echidna the Witch of Greed, because it, it, it's a bad implication, and Tsuburu deliberately calls uh, Zetula the Witch of Envy every time, so I, I don't know if he's doing that on purpose or just because he does not like saying her name given everything he's been through. But I think then it's not an illusion. Because I, I, I'm i just alluding myself to the idea that why would you just show up out of it like that? I'm hyped for it, but why? <laughs> and how are you going to deal with her? Like, she can't be at full power or anything because A, it'd be game over if she was. And B, like, she's sealed up right there. There's going to be a point in her being sealed up. Because if she just could, I don't know, like, sort of project herself wherever she wants without any hindrance, then there wouldn't be much of a point in her being sealed up. If, maybe I'm actually wrong in the whole idea, but she's obviously still around. But at the same time, the world isn't too concerned about her. So, I, I'm not 100% sure if I remember the whole being sealed up correctly. There was also a thing about a dragon, which I very vaguely remember. Like, it came up in three spots, I think, like in the book he read, Subaru, that, that Subaru read, like, that 
sort of featured Satella's story. Uh, Roswell wanted to kill the dragon, and like one of the witches was related to it too. And and uh, Echidna's little run through of all the witches. But yeah, what's missing? Lust. We didn't see lust. And who else? Who else? Uh, come on, with envy, with pride, with gluttony, we had we had wrath. And we, you know what? Screw it. I'm I'm somehow too much too much under pressure to think of the freaking last one missing out of the seven. Also, I'm just kind of running in circles with it anyway. Yeah. Uh, so also like the, the other three, which is just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Like he was just planning to speak to Gluttony, uh, Daphne, for the rabbit, and hey, he got the info out of it. And again, I, I absolutely love this sort of skewered reasoning that all the witches got there. Uh, committing sort of heinous evil acts, but for what appears to be a just cause. Or rather, sort of in the sense that there is no ultimate good, it always depends on the point of view. Like, okay, you're gonna feed the starving population, ain't that great, what you're gonna feed it with, though? You sort of gotta take it from someone, and if you're gonna feed them with meat, then that means you have to slaughter a lot, a lot of animals for it. And how unfair would it be for them if that was just one set of slaughter, so... You know? Gotta even the playing field with the white whale, the black serpent, and the the, the great rabbit. Also, yeah, super misconception on my part at the beginning, where I said that the rabbit sort of seemed out of nowhere and didn't connect to all of it. But no, not not only is it like on the same level as the white whale, arguably worse, perhaps because you know there's a great many of them. But it just straight up massacred the entire sanctuary, leaving nothing behind. We just thought it was deserted. Nope, they were all eaten alive. Have fun sleeping tonight. And then, uh, like, Miranda, Miranda, M something, uh, the Witch of Wrath, who just sort of swoops in there, puts him back together, with hearts flying everywhere. I kind of have to look up uh, Echidna's definition of them again. But again, why though? <laughs> why did it just pop in out of nowhere or something? I don't know. And we're still missing again the the two. Sloth. We're missing Sloth. That was it. Yeah, I just looked it up. Sue me. God, there's so much. I love the world building in this show. It's so great and it just keeps you on the edge of your seat. Not to mention, of course, the enormous cliffhanger with Satella just popping up out of nowhere. And I don't know, wanted to get to the mansion. Like, wait. Ekidna said as much that whatever Subaru tries to save is none of Satella's concern, really. Because, like, okay, he keeps doing it over and over again, but him surviving is, like, her main priority there. And we still haven't really gotten anything out of her other than I love you. Over and over and over and over again, which is not disturbing at all, you know. I think as far as dangerous Yandere's go, she's she, she won. She just screw all the other guys. I know a specific one who was a literal god, turns out, but still, not even close. <laughs> uh, okay, that's it's gonna be all for now. So until next time, see you then. Bye. <laughs>